So here I'm going to show you how to purchase hosting from Hostinger as well as how you can save money in the process. So if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment and it'll take you to a page that looks very similar to this. This is going to be my referral link, but I'm always updating it just to make sure that you get the best possible deals. As you can see right here, you do get up to 75% off hosting. And what we want to do here is simply click on the claim deal button and it's going to scroll us down a little bit more on the page. And very quickly, I want to talk about which plan is going to be right for you. And then of course I can save a little bit more money. So here we're looking at the premium plan. This is everything you need to create your website. So if you're a brand new website creator, you've never created a website before, maybe it's going to be your first or your second. This could be a plan specifically for you. It's going to come out to $2.99 per month for a 48 month term plus three months free, depending on how you actually pay for it by term, which I'll talk about a little bit more. So some of the big benefits with this one, you get 25 websites, you do get 25,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs of storage, and with this, you also get weekly backups. Now, even if you are a beginner, you still might want to use the most popular plan, which is business. With this, you get to level up with more power and enhanced features. The cool thing about this is that it's only $1 more per month. Okay, so aside from that, you go from 25 to 50 websites, you go from 25,000 to 100,000 visits monthly. So if you feel like you need a lot of traffic, that would definitely be for you from 25 gigs of storage to 50. And probably the biggest thing right here that I always talk about is the daily on-demand backups. With this, you can protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. Daily backups are stored for seven days and weekly backups are stored for seven weeks. So. Just something to keep in mind is that the difference between this and the weekly one, if you are prone to maybe breaking your website, which I know I am because I've done it in the past, this can save you a whole lot of time, like money and effort. So for example, if you create seven days of content, you do blog posts, you change around your website, you change the design, you happen to break something. With this, you can at least go back the day previously. But with this one, you'd have to do a weekly backup and the chance of missing out on a lot of work that maybe you'd have to redo is going to be in the deck of cards unfortunately so that is something to keep in mind if you do want to use this plan i feel like this is one of the most i guess you could say sleeper picks in terms of features it's here but it can definitely be helpful if you truly do need it there are going to be some other differences but those are going to be like the big features that compare and contrast so if you want a little bit more power and enhanced features for only one dollar more per month it's not all too bad Cloud startup, I usually don't go over too much. This is enjoy optimized performances and powerful resources. So if you think you need like 200,000 visits monthly or 100 websites or even more storage, like usually you're probably going to be around here. I don't know where you are specifically in your website career, but for most people, it's going to be one of these. So choose whichever one's going to be best for you. In this example, I'm going to click on business and click on choose plan. All right, so here is the fantastic thing. As you can see, we have the order summary where you get a tremendous discount as it is. So instead of what, 828, it's 191. But my way of saying thank you for watching this video, if you look down below in the description of the pinned comment, I'm also gonna have a coupon code there. Simply type it in or copy and paste it and click on apply and you're gonna save even more money. Now, I don't wanna actually say what the coupon code is because I'm always making sure that it is working. And if I change it out and say one thing, it might confuse you later when you come back. But as of right now, the coupon code definitely works. Be sure to apply that in there and you can save a little bit more of money. Now, when it comes to saving even more money, there's going to be a few payment periods that we can utilize here. There's going to be 48, 24, 12, and one. Let's start with 48 months, which is going to be the overall best value. As you can see right here, it's going to renew at $14 a month after this is done, which isn't bad. If you ask me, there are plenty of hosting services that cost more than this just when you're getting started. What's also great about this is that not only do you get your free domain, you also get three free months included with this order. That's only going to be with the 48 month period. So if you have a feeling or know that your website's going to be around for the long time, while you might be paying up front a little bit more, you're definitely going to be saving the most and getting the best value here. So that's 48 months. Let's go to 24. As you're going to see, it's going to move up a little. It was $3.99 a month, then it goes to $4.49. So this is going to be just your free domain for one year. 
If we go to 12 here, it's going to go up again, averages out to $4.99 a month, and you get your free domain. And cover your eyes <laughs> when it comes to one month. I never recommend this to anyone. I've never used it. I've never recommended it to anyone. If you look at it, it just starts off at around $14 per month. There's a $5 setup fee. You don't even get a free domain, and it's like there's no savings whatsoever. So as I talked about, 48 months is going to be the best value. You are paying a little bit more up front, but all in all, it averages out to be the the best. So choose one of those from either 12, 24, or 48. And don't forget to apply that coupon code down below in the description of the pinned comment. That's going to save you a little bit more money and click on apply. After that, simply click on the continue button. All right, so there are only two more steps. I already have an account with Hostinger, so I'm not going to register again, but ideally here, make sure you put in your email address, have a password, and you can do register. You can also sign up with Google if you want, and upon doing so, it's going to take you to the page where you can check out, enter in your payment information, and pretty much just go from there. Now, I do want to answer one question in case you have it. You'll notice that a lot of the plans do come with a free domain. You're going to get that once you actually pay and go into your dashboard, okay? In case you were curious about that, you're like, James, where is my domain that's going to be for free. You get it once you actually make your payment. You can go on the inside of your dashboard and claim it that way. Just wanted to clear that up so that you knew because yes, a lot of these plans do come with the free domain and I highly recommend that you take advantage of that. So that's going to conclude this tutorial when it comes to purchasing Hostinger. Not only that, being able to use a coupon code and actually getting a discount. So if you haven't gotten started yet and you just wanted to see how it works, be sure to click that link down below in the description or the pinned comment. That is going to be my updated referral link just to make sure that you always get the best value when you're going to be getting started purchasing Hostinger. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoy your nice little discount.